When I was a teenager in the 1960s, I began collecting United States presidential campaign buttons. Over the years, my collection grew to cover every sitting president since the first buttons appeared in the late 19th century. My collection also includes buttons from most losing candidates for the presidency. The first mass-produced campaign buttons were introduced for the William McKinley campaign in 1896. These early buttons were known as patented pinback celluloid buttons. They had a metal back with a straight pin on one side with an image on the front side protected with a layer of celluloid. William McKinley was the 25th President of the United States. He served from March 1897 until September of 1901. He was a Republican and a Methodist. His nickname was Napoleon of Protection. His previous occupation was lawyer, governor of Ohio, and congressman from Ohio. During McKinley's term, Hawaii was annexed in 1898. Also that year, the USS Maine was sunk, which began the Spanish-American War. McKinley is the first president to use political campaign buttons. McKinley is also the third president to be assassinated. Theodore Roosevelt was the 26th president of the United States. He served from September 1901 until March of 1909. He was a Republican. He belonged to the Dutch Reformed Church, and his nickname was Teddy, or the Lion. His previous occupation was rancher, author, colonel, and hero of the Spanish-American War, and leader of the Rough Riders, as well as vice president succeeding McKinley after his assassination. At age 42, he was the youngest person to become president, the first president to be seen in an automobile, the first president to visit a foreign country, and the inspiration for the teddy bear. William Howard Taft was the 27th president of the United States. He served from March 1909 until March of 1913. He was a Republican and a Unitarian. His nickname was Big Will. His previous occupation was judge, law school dean, first governor of the Philippines, and the 10th chief justice of the Supreme Court. He was the heaviest president weighing 332 pounds. He was the first president to throw out the first ball of the baseball season, and he loved milk and had his own cow in the White House. During the 1909 presidential campaign, celluloid buttons were replaced with all metal buttons. Woodrow Wilson was the 28th President of the United States. He served from March 1913 until March 1921. He was a Democrat and a Presbyterian. His nickname was the Phrase Maker. His prior occupation was Professor, Political Scientist, Governor of New Jersey, and President of Princeton. He was the President during World War I, the only president with a PhD, and he suffered a massive stroke in the last year and a half of his second term. His wife, Edith, basically ran the so-called petticoat government until the end of his second term. He is the first president to deliver the State of the Union address in person. Let us to make free. Warren G. Harding was the 29th president of the United States. He served from March 1921 until August 1923. He was a Republican and a Baptist. His occupation was newspaper publisher and editor and senator from Ohio. He had countless mistresses. He was the first president to visit Alaska and Canada. He organized liquor parties and poker nights in the White House despite prohibition. He also was considered one of the most popular presidents of the time. He died in office. Calvin Coolidge was the 30th President of the United States. He served from August 1923 until March 1929. He was a Republican and a Congregationalist. His nickname was Silent Cal or Cool Cal. His prior occupation was lawyer, banker, and Vice President under Harding. He is the only President born on the 4th of July. 
His inauguration was the first one broadcast on the radio. He was known to sleep up to 10 hours a day, and he was president during the Roaring Twenties. Herbert C. Hoover was the 31st president of the United States. He served from March 1929 until March 1933. He was a Republican and a Quaker. His nickname was The Chief. His prior occupation was engineer and secretary of commerce. He became a millionaire before age 40. He spoke fluent Mandarin Chinese. He was president during the stock market crash of 1929. And in 1932, he presided over the Bonus Army incident, during which former World War I soldiers rioted for pensions. Over the decades, most presidential campaign buttons have measured approximately an inch to an inch and a half in diameter. However, this Herbert Hoover button was very unique in that it measured only four-eighths of an inch in diameter. Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the 32nd President of the United States. He served from March 1933 until April of 1945. He was a Democrat and an Episcopalian. His nickname was FDR. His prior occupation was Governor of New York, Lawyer, New York State Senator, and Assistant Secretary of the Navy. He is the only President elected four times the only paraplegic president, the first president to fly in an airplane. He enacted the New Deal, including the WPA and Social Security, and he died in office in 1945. Harry S. Truman was the 33rd president of the United States. He served from April 1945 until January of 1953. He was a Democrat and a Baptist, his nickname was Give em Hell Harry. His prior occupation was farmer, men's clothing retailer, colonel during World War I, and vice president under FDR. He was the only president in the 20th century who did not attend college. His presidential inauguration was the first one ever broadcast on TV. He practiced piano two hours every day, and he ordered the dropping of the atomic bombs on Japan and was president during the Korean War. Dwight David Eisenhower was the 34th President of the United States. He served from January 1953 until January 1961. He was a Republican and a Presbyterian. His nickname was Ike. His prior occupation was Supreme Allied Commander in Europe during World War II. He smoked four packs of cigarettes a day. He initiated the use of Air Force One, and Alaska and Hawaii were admitted to the Union under his administration. John Fitzgerald Kennedy was the 35th President of the United States. He served from January 1961 until November 1963. He was a Democrat and a Catholic. His nickname was JFK or Jack. His prior occupation was U.S. Naval Officer during World War II senator from Massachusetts and Pulitzer Prize winner. He established the Peace Corps in 1961, initiated the Race to the Moon in 1961. He was the president during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. In 63, he sent the first ground troops to Vietnam, and later in 63, he was assassinated in Dallas by Lee Harvey Oswald. Lyndon Baines Johnson was the 36th President of the United States. He served from January 1963 until January 1969. He was a Democrat and belonged to the Disciples of Christ Church. His nickname was LBJ. His prior occupation was teacher, naval commander during World War II, and vice president under John F. Kennedy. He appointed the first African American to the Supreme Court. In 1964, he signed the Civil Rights Act. Also in 1964, he initiated the Great Society Program and the War on Poverty. In 1965, he signed the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, greatly expanding our presence in Vietnam. 
Richard Milhouse Nixon was the 37th President of the United States. He served from January 1969 until August 1974. He was a Republican and a Quaker. His nickname was Tricky Dick. His prior occupation, he was in the U.S. Navy during World War II and won the Silver Star, and he was Vice President under Dwight David Eisenhower. He is the uh, first president to visit China. The first moon landing took place during his first term. The Watergate scandal began in 1973, and in 1974 he signed the Paris Peace Accords, which ended the Vietnam War. He is the only president to resign the presidency. Gerald R. Ford Jr. was the 38th President of the United States. He served from August 1974 until January 1977. He was a Republican and an Episcopalian. His nickname was Mr. Nice Guy. His former occupation was lawyer and lieutenant commander in the U.S. Navy during World War II. He won 10 battle stars. He was also Vice President under Richard Nixon. He is the only president not elected by the people either as vice president or president. He worked as a fashion model in the 1940s. He held his daughter's prom in the White House. And in 1974, he granted Richard Nixon a full pardon. James Earl Carter Jr. was the 39th president of the United States. He served from January 1977 until January 1981. He was a Democrat and a Baptist. His nickname was Jimmy or the Peanut Farmer. His prior occupation was Peanut Farmer and Lieutenant in the U.S. Naval Reserves and Governor of Georgia. As President, he pardoned the Vietnam War draft Dodgers. His daughter built a treehouse on the White House grounds he facilitated the Camp David Accords between Israel and Egypt, and he boycotted the 1980 Olympics. Ronald Wilson Reagan was the 40th President of the United States. He served from January 1981 until January 1989. He was a Republican and he belonged to the Christian Church. His nickname was Dutch, the Gipper, and the Great Communicator. His occupations were lifeguard, actor, union leader, captain in the U.S. Army Air Force in World War II, and governor of California. He was the oldest president at the time of leaving office, age 78. He is the first divorced man to become president. He appeared in 53 movies and hosted two popular TV shows. He survived an assassination attempt in 1981. In 1983, he started the strategic defense initiative known as Star Wars. Beginning in the 1980s, presidential campaign buttons began to grow in size. For example, this Ronald Reagan button measured two and a quarter inches in diameter. George H.W. Bush was the 41st president of the United States. He served from January 1989 till January 1993. He was a Republican and Episcopalian. His nickname was Poppy or Papa Bush. Prior occupations were Lieutenant in the U.S. Navy during World War II, an oil businessman, head of the CIA, member of the House of Representatives, and Vice President under Ronald Reagan. He was the first Vice President elected since Van Buren, he was the youngest Navy pilot in the U.S. Navy during World War II, aged 19. He was shot down by the Japanese three times during World War II. And in 1990, he began the first Gulf War by invading Kuwait. William Jefferson Clinton was the 42nd President of the United States. He served from January 1993 until January 2001. He was a Democrat and a Baptist. His nickname was Slick Willie or Bubba. His occupation was lawyer, law lecturer, and governor of Arkansas. As a boy, he was a delegate to Boys Nation and he met JFK at age 17. He won a Rhodes Scholarship to study at Oxford University. And in 1993, he instituted the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy for gays in the military. In 1994, the first White House website was initiated. 
George W. Bush was the 43rd President of the United States. He served from January 2001 until January 2009. He was a Republican and a Methodist. His nickname was W. His occupation was Lieutenant in the Texas Air National Guard, oil businessman, and Governor of Texas. He is the only president with an MBA. He is the second son of a president to become president. He was the president during the 9-11 attacks, and in 2001 he began the war in Afghanistan against the Taliban, and in 2001 he also signed the Patriot Act. Barack Obama Jr. was the 44th president of the United States. He served from January 2009 till January 2017. He was a Democrat and was an unaffiliated Christian. His nickname was Barry, or No Drama Obama. His occupation was community organizer, law professor, and senator from Illinois. He was the first African-American president. In 2009, he won the Nobel Peace Prize after less than a month in office in 2010, the Affordable Care Act was enacted, and in 2015, he signed the Iran nuclear deal. Donald J. Trump was the 45th President of the United States. He served from January 2017 until January 2021. He was a Republican and unaffiliated Christian. His prior occupation was real estate developer and television personality. He is, at 71, the oldest person to become president. He was the richest president to date. He is the first president who never held public office or a military post. He destroyed the ISIS caliphate and he appointed three associate justices to the Supreme Court. <laughs>